stop what you're doing. I'm still alive. All 1,000 of you are probably so shook. I'm alive and this top is the same color as my skin. You wanna know something really ironic is that in January or December, my friend Claire and I, we made like mood boards for 2021 and one of my goals was like upload at least once a month, like keep the channel alive, you know. It's definitely May. I really do like making YouTube videos even though no one watches them. I feel like it's really like therapeutic to sit here and talk to myself for a little bit. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago now, I don't know, me and my two roommates got matching roommate tattoos. I got mine in red. It says 818 and I got it on the back of my arms so when I'm like standing like this, you can read it. And I did vlog some of the stuff we did that day. We'll just talk about it. We'll just all get into it. But let's uh, start, I guess. <laughs> Today, I'm wearing my fellow Scorpio... <laughs> I'm wearing my fellow Scorpio King shirt. Um, I'm probably gonna change out of it though. Today, we're getting our roommate tattoos. For the past three years, I've lived in a house with these three ladies. Well, technically, I'm the third, so these two girls. We were the only three who like stuck it out all the way to the end. We roomed together, like freshman year, first semester, we decided to sit, live together and all three of us have stuck it out. Everyone else either like left or moved home or changed schools or like whatever, everyone has like their own stuff going on. But like us three, we have remained strong. We're finishing strong together. So we're getting tattoos to commemorate our experience. This eyeball is still wet, so the eyelashes are sticking together. Um, anyway, the tattoo we're getting is 818, which is our house numbers. I'm really excited. I'm thinking about getting mine like on the back of my elbow. I have to get going on the road so I'm not late and I don't ruin the appointment for everyone. Buckle up, kids. It's a good one today. I do it for the kids, for the youth. Yeah, real bad bitch got her own money. She don't need no nigga on the dance floor. She had two, three drinks, now she twerking. She throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. She a real bad bitch, drive her own car. <laughs> Tattoos, I have to pee so bad. That's my vlog. I just have to pee my pants. I'm so nervous. <laughs> You're so fucking nervous. <laughs> you guys, what if I faint? I've never fainted even for a shot before. You won't faint. We ended up getting there on time and we get out and we walk up to the door because of COVID. The girl at the door is like, oh, like, sorry, we can only let so many people in the building at a time. Like, we'll come let you in when enough people are gone so we were like okay like that's fine um and we go back and sit in the car i'm gonna piss my pants <laughs> that was it thanks <laughs> they fucking kicked us out I'm they said wait in the car thank you girls <laughs> i'm gonna literally piss my pants though so it's fine so now i'm like looking at the clock and i'm like well it's weird because we have an appointment at one like we're supposed to be here it's not like we're like walk-ins or something and then the girl is like oh yeah we're waiting for someone with like an appointment or something like i'm just waiting for a couple girls like whatever and we see girls in the car next to us that had pulled in and they were just sitting there they like weren't going anywhere so we we're like well it's probably them but regardless like we have an appointment at this time it's not like we're just walking like we're supposed to be here go up to the door again and i'm like hey like we have an appointment at one and she goes oh are you with dawn and we were like yeah like that's us and she was like oh like come on in say cheese lady cheese. <laughs> the video oh. <laughs> i just did that for fun so i was sitting there and by the time it was finally time for us to like go back and sit in like the actual tattoo chairs there's probably like 140. so finally it's time to like sit in the chairs um and he made sydney go first <laughs> Yeah. Nice, you have the end. The what? The end was done. End? 18. Oh, now oh, it hurts. Oh, now it hurts? Oh. <laughs> 
I feel like that's where my bone is. My legs twitch. That's alright. Very nice. So then I went second, and I did mine in red ink. Sydney got hers on her ankle in black. I did mine in red on the back of my arm like I showed you. <laughs> Very cute. I like that. And then Murr did hers in red on her ankle like Sydney's was. You look amazing. <laughs> So what's your decision though after getting one? Do you think you would get another tattoo one day? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Obviously, we will we will rock you. <laughs> Check it out in the mirror. Good. Woo! She's done. I am that mom backstage. Oh yeah. So we all kind of had matching, but they were all like different variations of each other, which I like because we're all. Obviously similar, we were all roommates and did all this stuff together, but we're all like individuals, which I just liked. I thought that was cute. So that was our tattoo experience. I think turned out okay. I got it in red ink, which like, you know, they give you like warnings and stuff where they're like, just so you know, like red ink fades. And I'm like, that's like the whole idea. My tattoo I struggle with. It's hard to tell if some of the lines aren't done well or if it's just so thin script that it hasn't completely like scabbed off yet and it isn't like completely healed, but it's been like three weeks and the lines are like, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's my makeup. Is that cute? <laughs> <laughs>